What's up, Hard and Hustle? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I just want to say for those of you that have been with me for a while, thank you. And uh, all the new people that have just subscribed lately, uh, welcome to the Hard and Hustle family. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video because I still don't have my cutter. Uh, we're going to do a video on how to do three different types of knockouts. Uh, how to set it up and then cut it. And then I'm going to also show you how to mask letters. So if a customer comes to you and is like, hey, well, I'm looking for a font and I want it to have like glitter background. You know, as on LXI, they don't have no glitter colors. So how would you do that? I'm going to show you how to do that today. So uh, stick around and uh, let's get started. Okay, welcome back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the three um, knockouts. So right? three knockouts. So since it's still football season, well, football season hasn't even started. It starts next week. Um, we're gonna go ahead and type in. We're gonna do a a knockout that says cheer mom for cheerleaders, right? So let's do C H E R. So you want to do it in two parts because you you know that if you put mom, mom is not gonna be as long as the word cheer, right? So then we're gonna add some. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to add another font, MOM. All right. Okay, so let's add color to them. Add black to both of them, right? So now we're going to bring, we'll do it 10 inches the way it is. 10 inches. Stretch it out a little bit. The reason I did mom in two, I did chair mom in two different letters, like I said, mom is not exactly the same size as cheer so we'll be able to stretch it out so we stretch it out get them to be the same size and then we can pull mom down a little bit right okay from here what I want to do now is add so I have some vectors already that I've made that are cheerleaders. So let me zoom out a little bit so I can show you this. All right, so here they are right here, and then they're all grouped as one, so we gotta highlight them, range, ungroup all. So now we have individual ones. So I'm gonna go here so I can delete this outer box from when I made it a vector. So we're gonna stick with this cheerleader right here. All right, so let's go zoom back in. And then we will grab her, bring her down. So purple. All right, so we got her. Then purple, and then we'll do her like a pink. All right, so resize her. Next thing I want to do is I want to get these letters as close to each other as I can because you don't want to leave any gaps in between because this cheerleader is going to fit inside of there, right? So what I want to, what you want to do is hit this and then you want to hit the letter so when you hit the letter you can there's an A, B right here and it shows two arrows moving in so what you want to do is click it a couple times and it's going to move that individual letter a little bit closer you can do this you can do all the letters at the, keep grabbing the whole thing so you can do all the letters and it will move all of them at I'm lying to you so if you grab all of these, there you go, and you move them, it will move all the letters at one time. But you'll see that more other letters will start overlapping before others, and you don't want to try to do that. So if you need to move individual letters, like we'll move mom right here, you can move the M a little bit closer. Come over here, move the O a little bit closer, and then we're good. Just make sure that your letters are lining up. Then we're going to take this and we're going to go G. It should now be grouped. All right, so now we have that as one piece. Make it a little bit bigger to fit in here. Bring it up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to bring our cheerleader down here to where we want her. So the first knockout is going to be an easy knockout, right? So I'm just going to highlight it. I like the whole thing and we're going to control C control V just so that we can have another copy of it 
in case something happens to this copy if we mess it up we don't have to start all over we can just delete it and we have the copy up there and we can just use another one all right so remember a quick zoom would be the the zoom to page so here we go so what we're going to do the fast and easy one fast and easy one right here so we're going to put her where we want her remember if you're doing vinyl on vinyl you want to try to avoid I know you could do one or two vinyl on top of each other um, but if you can avoid it avoid it because whenever you go to press it you can see the indention of the E the M the O through the cheerleader unless you get the right pressure like if you if you pressure if you do a cheer mom two to three seconds and then you do the top one a little bit longer you're still taking a chance of the indention coming out so what I like to do is a knockout so what I'm going to do is highlight this whole thing I'm going to come here oh. so first first thing I do you got to make a copy of her make a copy of her and then again put her off to the side and I'll tell you why in a minute so here we go right here I'm just going to stay here and then we're going to cut her out so now as you can see she's out of the picture now so when it goes to pressing this pressing her onto here she's going to fit actually on the t-shirt so you'll have this on the t-shirt and then you'll weed all of this out and then you'll put you'll fit her right inside you can always zoom in so that you can line her up use your, your arrows you can line her up exactly where she's going to go so that's our first one knockout right there all right put her back in and then we will just go ahead and group it all <coughs> zoom out move this first one over here all right so now we got the second one we're gonna make another copy of it then we'll move her over here so this is the first one here's gonna be the second one right here zoom in all right so the second one is going to be a little bit got to do a couple more things so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of just the name quick keys remember control c control v so we're going to do here is we're going to highlight the whole thing and then we're going to hit common when we knock out the common as you can see the cheerleader has all these funky things going on it's okay because this is she's gonna fit right in with the word cheer don't freak out if you do this all you gotta do is right click it she's still there you're gonna right you're gonna click the cheer mom right click it come down to order and then move to back when you move her to back when you move it to back the word you're gonna see that she then moves to the front so then the same thing here, you're going to move her into place. Now, again, she's going to be, she will be um, on top of the vinyl again. So what you're going to do is now you're going to make another copy of this. Put her off to the side. So now she's here. Come back up here. Now, again, zoom in so that you can line her up perfect. Pick a spot where she will line up. Use your arrow keys. Get her into place. She's good. Good. All right. Zoom back out. Then we're going to come back. Cut her out. Now that she's gone, we'll get the new one. Slide it right into place. All right. So now that's the second one. You can always, like I said, you can always zoom in, get it to fit where you need her to. All right. So that's the second. That's the second one. Let's zoom out. Control G to group her. Group that piece together. We'll put that one here. Now we're gonna get this third one. put it right in 
right. So this is going to be this one's going to be the exact same as this one. The exact same, but you have to remember this one is when you do this when you do this knockout right here, you have to be careful because whenever you go to Let me get up there. So whenever you go to press this, depending on the vinyl that you have, it might shrink. So when you when you sh when you press this, everything's gonna shrink. So it's gonna and then when you put her in here, she's gonna sh she's gonna shrink. So now you got the you got the letters that shrunk a little bit, and then you got her. So then what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a gap between there. So this method right here would be really good for stickers unless you have the right type of vinyl that wouldn't shrink whenever you go to press it right so just be careful when you do this one instead of wasting a lot of vinyl trying to get it right do it this way so say we say we did this right here so we're gonna do the same thing I like the whole thing we're going to do the common. Oh, go back. So we need to make, make a copy of the name. Put it off to the side. I like this. The whole thing. Get the whole thing highlighted. Take out the com oh, sorry. Take out the common. Then we have her. Bring the letters back in. It's on top of her again. Then you're gonna come down here, right click, order move to back now that we got her in place we're going to want to click her get her into place remember you could zoom in line her, line her up as good as you can Oops. looks about right all right so now we're there so now what we're going to do is in case you want to press this on a shirt to keep when the when when and if the vinyl does shrink, what we're gonna do is take out that step to where you're gonna see the background. So say we have a come back. Okay, we got the black shirt. Make a copy of her. Always make a copy. Alright, so now we have a copy of her. We're gonna just put her down here. And I'll show you why. So we're gonna make a contour cut of her now. So we come up here, effects. Contour cut. Now remember with the contour cut, you can make it as big as you want. You can make it as small as you want, right? So we're going to go about right there. We'll go about right here. We'll hit the check mark, all right? Then now that we have that done, we're going to highlight the whole thing. Then we're going to cut it out. We're going to cut it out. Now when we put her up here, as you can see, there's going to be a gap. Let me zoom in a little bit. You're going to see there's a gap already in between it. And it makes a cool effect on there. As you can see that. So you can see the black is intentionally put there. Instead of, if you do that, if you cut her out and you don't put the contour cut and then you press it and she shrinks and the letters shrink, then you're going to see like, an offset it might be more on one side than the other side so it's gonna you as the the person that made it is gonna notice it and you're gonna be like oh man but the buyer might not notice it but here's a good way to get rid of that okay so make a copy of this one copy it put it all together and then we're going to zoom out right so let's zoom in a little bit over here. So here's the first one that we did. Here's the first one. We're going to ungroup it. All right, so now we have her, as you saw how we did this first one. All right. Here's the second one that we did place them in different order sorry so ungroup 
So I never grouped it. So as you can see, this one, when you do this one, it actually just fits into the letters. All right. So there's a second one without a contour cut. Good for stickers because then with the stickers, you just overlap them, all right? So there's a second one, and then here's a third one with the contour cut right here. The contour cut, really cool because whenever you go to do this, um, if there is an error in there, whenever you press it, only only you will really know, all right? So there's all three of them right there. So now I'm gonna, now the next thing I'm going to show you. Let me get all of these back. Okay. <clears throat> next thing I'm going to show you is how to do a mask. Masks are really cool because, like I was saying, if someone comes to you and is like, okay, so I want this. I want this, but I want the black sh black shirt with some glitter and the cheerleader, right? So I, d I went ahead and downloaded some glitter already. So I'm gonna show you how to mask, right? Mask is really cool because you could send them a picture or you could send them, like after you do it, you can send, you can email it to them. You can save it as a, as a JPEG. So let's go with gold. We'll go with gold glitter because I already downloaded it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it here. And we're going to make it as big as our screen, right? As big as the area that we're working with. All right, so how does this work? Whenever you put, whenever you're going to mask something, you need to make sure that you put it behind everything, all right? So we're going to right click again Make sure that you are on this. You should be because it's on top. Right click, order. Uh, you don't want to move to back one. You want to move to back. So now we move it to back. So we have gold, purple, and pink. So what we're going to do now is we want to grab the cheerleader. We have to ungroup it. Move to back. Okay, so let's ungroup. Let's do this. Arrange. Ungroup all. Alright, so now we're gonna grab this cheerleader and we're gonna move her over here because we don't wanna mask her. We just wanna mask the letters, okay? Really cool trick. If you don't know how to do this, you're gonna like this because you can send this to a customer. If someone wanted something with fire or they wanted something with I don't know who knows what someone would want but you can always go online download the download what they're looking for put it as a background and mask it right so now once we move the cheerleader out of the way we've moved her out of the way we're going to highlight the background and the letters we're going to come up here to arrange come down to mask and as you can see right here there's like a little it looks like a little head with some with a, with a mask on it I guess so we're gonna hit that and now you can see the letters are only the letters are gold so now you have a black shirt with gold letters so if someone was like oh I want to see how that's gonna look no longer do you have to tell them well this is what it might look like because this is what it actually will look like, right? Same thing, if you want to do something with the cheerleader, you should be able to come in here. We'll do, what color is our cheerleader? Uh, check it out, she's pink. I got some pink glitter. Bring it down to LXI, drop it in. Order, I'm gonna try to go back one. Yeah, so I went back just one. Instead of going, if you go order to the back, it's going to go behind everything. But let's move it back, order to the front. All right, so now we're going to right click it. And luckily, I have it to where I don't have to take it back one. So, same thing, highlight it, 
Hopefully it just does it. We'll find out. Arrange it. Mask it. Okay, let's do this. So we'll just move this off to the side over here because it masked, it took out the whole thing. So we're gonna bring her over here. Okay, let's do this. Move this over here. Move her over here. Highlight the whole thing. Go ahead. And then mask it. All right, so now we have this and this. Let's zoom back in. Now we have this ugly glitter for the pink, but you understand what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, now we have the gold, the gold letters, which is a mask, and the pink, because LXI don't have these fancy colors in there, glitter colors. So if you want to show someone, this is how it would look. And it's probably going to make a better profit for you because they can see it before they buy it, right? Pretty cool thing that you could do here. Um, use it. Um, and hopefully it works out for you, all right? So those are the, that's what I wanted to show you all on this video. I wanted to show you how to do um, three different cutouts. So as you remember, I'll go back over these. Let's group this, control G, move this over here. So the first cutout was the easy one, overlap it. Remember, always make a copy. This is, I forgot to tell you, this is why you always make a copy. Always make a copy of it. Because if you don't, if you don't make a copy of it, right, and you have to go back to your original file, which were my cheerleaders out here, so when you drop your cheerleaders back in, let's move them over here. We'll ungroup them again. I told you I was going to tell you why I did that. So let's get rid of them. So if we brought her back in here, made her pink again, and we're like, okay, I'm just going to put her back in here. You're, as you can see, the original file, you're not. It's not going to fit exact. So you're going to have to resize try to get her to fit and to avoid and then to avoid so as you can see you got a little bit off over here and then when you get it right over here it's going to be a little bit off over here so you have to keep resizing and resizing so whenever you whenever you make a copy of it you avoid all that because you avoid all that because whenever before you already know what you're going to do you know I'm going to cut it out so it's going to be gone so before you do that make a copy of it so that when it comes time to it you can put it back in like I said from the beginning always make it like your first whatever you're working with make a copy of it in case you mess up if you're doing an overlap like not an overlap but if you're doing a cutout especially a cutout so that whenever it comes time to put it back in it's going to fit perfect all right so, I hope this video helped you out, taught everybody something. Um, if you want any, if you want something done, if you need some help, let me know. Um, I got a video that I got coming up next. It's going to be how to do monogram letters. A lot of people have been, a lot of people are doing those. As you see, they hang them on their doors, their their walls, or whatever they're doing with them. Um, I'm going to do a video on that next. So, like I said, I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, until next time, we'll see you.